proves it proves the microphone switched on. Hello everybody, welcome back to my War Games hobby channel, Alec here. I've got another game in the club tonight. I'm playing uh, Steve. We're playing another Lion Lampant because we do both enjoy it. And I'll just show you the game. So here's the table. My Vikings are over here. I've got a unit of um, heavy infantry, a unit of elite infantry, another unit of elite, elite infantry with my leader, another unit of heavy infantry, and a unit of warriors. And Steve over the other side. Light infantry. Light infantry, yeah. Veteran heavy. Oh, vets heavy, yeah. Veteran heavy. Oh, another lot of vets heavy, yeah. Light infantry. Light infantry, yeah. Skirmishes. Skirmishes behind the wood. Heavy infantry. heavy infantry, normal heavy infantry. Yeah, normal yep, heavy okay. Infantry, so yeah. we both got 24 points. We've done exactly as it says in the book. I've uh, I've got a Norse army and um, Steve's got Anglo-Saxons. So what we thought we would do tonight, to just to have a little bit of a sort of um, a, a scenario, I've made one up. We were looking at ones from the book, but um, we just felt it would be nice just to do an easy one. So what I've done is you'll notice there's a few bits of sheep. There's a there's a, a pen here with pigs in. They're not worth any points. But you see the sheep that are dotted around. We got we got one there. We got one there. We got two in the middle there, and we got another two over there. So that's six in total. So what I thought we'd do is we we're out sort of scouring the countryside for food. So we're going to try and pinch the sheep. And there's the little villagers in there. They're not looking too happy. They're, um, they're keeping out of the way. They won't be a part of the game. They're just going to view the, the fight between this, these two armies. And the idea is if you get a sheep, obviously it's a point. If you get the ones in the middle, it's two points. And you, the sheep has to stay with that unit then. And if the unit dies, then the sheep becomes free again. So we're just going to see how many uh, we get uh, before the game ends. Just to make it interesting, just a, a silly little scenario really, but who cares? Right, so what I'll do is, as usual, I will just report back on occasion when something interesting happens. And there's Steve eating his crisps, look, he's enjoying his crisps over there. <laughs> well, for those of you that don't know these rules as, as well as me, let me just go through some of the troop types we're using so you get an idea what to expect. Now, the, the Vikings have got two units of heavy infantry here and here, and there's another unit of heavy infantry over there. Now, these are standard heavy infantry, and standard heavy infantry can form shield wall, which is good, so that gives them a better defensive value. They normally got armor of three, but if they go into shield wall, they become armored four, which is very good. Now, there's also two heavy infantry in the middle, but they're veteran heavy infantry, those two, yeah. And they've been upgraded to veteran, which means that they attack equally as well as defend. Because normally spear armed infantry or heavy infantry are very much in advantage if they defend. But if they attack, they don't hit as well. So for example, when they're attacking, they hit on fives and sixes. But when they defend, they hit on fours, fives and sixes. However, the veterans don't. They hit on five, four, five and sixes as well in attack and defense. So that's the advantage of having veteran heavy infantry. Now the Vikings don't have veterans, but the Anglo-Saxons do. I suppose that sort of resembles the, uh, the hearth guard or the... Um, the uh... Now they, they've got two light infantry. You can see either side of the heavies. And they're similar. They're better off attacking. They, they attack on five and six, but they defend better attacking on four, five and six when, they, when they're in a melee. But they've only got armour of two. But if they go into shield wall, their armour becomes three. Whereas the, the heavy infantry, the armour becomes four. So they're very much better spear-armed infantry, Anglo-Saxons and some of the Vikings, in defending. However, uh, the, the, the difference to the Vikings over here is I've got two units of elite uh, infantry. And elite infantry are Again, better, they are the opposite. They're better attacking rather than defending. So when they attack, they hit on three, four, five, six. When they defend, they only hit on four, five, six. There's not as many of them anyway, any units of six, but they can't form shield wall, so they can't put their armor up. It's already four anyway, so it doesn't really need to go up. 
The only other unit I've got worth mentioning over here is the warrior unit. Now these guys can't form shield wall either, but they are very, very much better attacking rather than defending. So if they attack, they're hitting on three, four, five, six. If they defend, they're only going to be hitting on sixes. Now, although the Anglo-Saxons is very much a defensive army, and normally they wouldn't want to attack anybody, they would want to form shield wall and force me to attack him, or the Vikings to attack them in, in shield wall, what they do need to do, if they get near these warriors, they need to be aggressive and try and attack them, because they are not as good being attacked themselves. They do, however, um, get a wild charge, so if they get near an enemy, they will try, they will have to try and charge them. And they also get counter charge, so if they are attacked by the English heavies or light infantry, they can attempt to counter charge, and of course, if they counter charge, they get that bonus attack value rather than the defense value. So it's going to be a game of cat and mouse, really. Steve's going to try and attack my warriors here in the hope that I don't counter charge. And the rest of these, he's going to really try and defend against because I'm better off attacking. So we'll, uh, I just thought I'd explain that because it takes a little while, you know, to get your head around these things sometimes. But it, it should be, it makes it quite a tactical game, actually. And, and it's, not too, it's a very simple set of rules, but I do like some of the tactics that you have to think about when you're using certain troop types. All right, so anyway, I'll report back later when we've moved. Steve's going to move first because he won the dice roll. So Steve is moving up. You can see we're, we're starting to get close. I'm the only one that I've failed so far. I failed with this unit, but I re-rolled it and they managed to move. And I moved those okay. Then I failed with those, which means my warriors over there, which just about to capture those shit, the sheep on the hill, they didn't move. So that's a bit of a pain. We're going for this but one now. now Steve's moving forward with the rest of his army, slowly but surely. That's all right. So... So things will start to happen soon. And you see, Steve's managed to get one, one sheep. He's one nil up at the moment. And he's getting near that second sheep. Now they have to slow up going through there. While they're still in that terrain, they move at half speed. So say that's, it's only an inch, so that does two inches to there. Then they can do another six inches. Yeah, that, that's fine, yeah. Right, report back later. Okay, it's all starting to happen. Just, just um, so that you know, at the moment, the Anglo-Saxons have got four sheep and the Vikings have only got two. Yeah, one and one over there, two there, yeah, one there and one here. But we're not worried about that because it's more at the end of the game when that counts. And I've charged, yeah, as, as Graham's indicating, into this unit here because they're not in shield wall, whereas these are in a shield wall, and I don't want to be really charging those. They're both heavy infantry, but they would be armour four in a shield wall, so I didn't, didn't want to do that. Oh, they are, but at least they're not in shield wall, so they're only armour of three, whereas I'm armour of four because I'm elite yeah, you're right. infantry. So we both get 12 dice, armor? I'm elite, and they, they hit on fours. Right, but what's the um... armor? Four. Four. I'm, I'm, I'm three. They're I'm they're hard. They're hard boys. Those. Okay. Uh, they're a bit like knights, really. Your defense value is four plus, so you're hitting me on fours, fives, and sixes. Right. But I'm hitting you on threes, fours, fives, and sixes because um, I'm elite infantry. How many dice are we rolling each? Twelve. Twelve. So I'll roll mine first as I'm attacking, and I want lots of threes, fours, fives, and sixes. I'll take out the misses. Oh dear, I'm doing it again. Look at this. I don't believe that. So I got six hits on you, which is two figures. So you want fours. Take out the ones, twos and threes. I'll help you. Ooh, there's a lot of one, twos and threes there as well. Wow. That's a bit unfortunate because you've got three hits, but you need four to kill one of my figures right. and you didn't get you rolled really badly there which is not like you spike for melees i know you normally roll rubbish for courage tests yeah. but not normally for fighting so how many men have i lost so you lost two right which means you've got to do a courage test which is two dice i'll let you roll those two two dice yeah you've got to do a courage test 
Well, it's eight. It's not too bad because at eight you get one for your leader, nine, and if you lost two figures, you're down to seven. And your courage test for heavy inventory is four, so you're fine. Yeah. But you did lose men, and I didn't, so you have to go back half a move. So half you have to go back three inches. Three inches. And I should, but because you didn't lose anything. Because I didn't lose back. anything. I don't have to do a courage test. No, that's right. Yeah. Now you're not battered. You just had to fall back. So yeah. there's no real disadvantage. No. But you might want to consider going when it's your turn wall. going in the shield wall, exactly. Because that will give you an armour of four, mm. which will help. Mm. So the first melee, and the, the Vikings have uh, managed to come off slightly better. They didn't lose any, and the Anglo Saxons lost two, and they've had to fall back. Incidentally, both of those units are the leader's units as well. So my leader is the guy here with the flag, and uh, the leader in this unit is. Um, I don't know. Is it the guy with the standard? Anyway, he's yeah. in. He's with that unit. Oh no, it's the guy, the guy with the big stand here. That's the queen there. So, um, good first move fired by the Vikings. I've now got to decide what else I'm going to do. Okay, so we have another fight because my uh, elite warriors, elite unit that was in here, were within six inches of the lights, and I did manage to charge him. And unfortunately for those lights, they're not in sheer wall, so they're, they're going to be in a bit of trouble this time against oh, elite infantry. Oh, you do hit on four, five, six. You're still quite, uh, uh, quite good at fighting back. Hit. So would you like to roll first? So you want to take out the, everything, but leave to five and fours, five and sixes you can leave in there. Now There's another on. two there. There's another three there. So that's better, isn't it? Yeah. You've got seven hits there. Yeah. Still only one figure though, because I've got armor of four. So I lost my first figure. So take yours out, and I'm hitting now on threes. I'll take out my misses, the ones and twos. Oh, why? Look how many ones and twos I'm rolling. But it is six hits, which is three figures you lose. We've still only got armour of two. Now we both have to do a courage test because we both lost figures. You do yours first. You rolled eight. Your leader's not near enough to give him My any help. My courage is four plus. Yeah, so eight, you've only lost three, so you're, you're okay because you're on five. Yeah. So you're, you're all right, and I've got a roll for mine. My elite infantry, I've got a courage of three. Now I rolled a five. I lost a figure, so I'll take one away. I'm down to four. My leader is near anyway, but it's fine because it was a, a courage is three. So I'm okay. But again, because you lost more men than me, you have to fall back. You're not battered or anything like that. You just have to fall back a half a move, which is four inches, yeah. Puts me back up here. Yeah. So we've got another melee. You still get 12 dice at yeah. the moment. Let's turn the camera around a little bit. You still get 12 dice, and so do I. There we are. We're putting them there. Better take my sheep with me. Right, so you're hitting on fours. So just take out the ones and the twos and the threes. There you go. Again, you hit, you've got seven hits. Now I've got an armor of three, so I lose two men. That's better for you. And now it's my turn, so take your dice back. And I'm hitting, I'm not hitting as well, you see. Heavy infantry, when they attack, don't hit as well as when they defend. And my heavy infantry, you're only hitting on fives. Right, and you can see there, I've only got four hits, but you've only got armor of two, so you lose two more figures. You have to do a test, as so do I, because uh, I lost a figure as well. Do you first. Now you rolled seven. You've lost so far from that unit, I believe, five. Yeah. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, five. Which means you're down to two. Right. Your leader's too far away to help them, and they've only got a, a courage of four, which means they're now battered. They have to go back half a move, yeah. and they get a battered marker. 
So they'll go back, it'll only be two inches in, in the rough terrain because yeah. they're slowed up with the terrain slightly. Now I've got to do my, my test as well now for these because I lost a figure. I rolled an eight, that's fine. I only lose one off that, so there. No, in fact, I lost two, didn't I? But I'm still on six, so they're fine. So the skirmishers have moved up now over here. And uh, they did a skirmish move, which means they moved half and then they only hit then on sixes. So roll your dice in there, Steve, and you want sixes to hit. I've only got armor of two, so you only need two to kill a figure. Well, would you believe that? You've only got one six. Yeah. You missed. You'll get me next time, mate. Yeah. I got away with that. Yeah. I expected to lose at least one figure. Right, so that's your turn completed, unless you want to move any of your shield wall, which you probably don't want to anyway, do you? No, I want to move. That's me done. You see, Steve's formed shield wall now on... Everything except one... Yeah, so they're in shield wall. They're in shield wall. They're in shield wall. These are not, because they've had to fall back. They were um, battered, but he's recovered from being battered now, but he hasn't... He'll have to go into shield wall next turn. Before that, hopefully, I'm going to hit him anyway. But he has got five, four units still in shield wall, which is what, with Anglo-Saxons, is what you need to do. Because although it doesn't improve their ability to strike the opponent for hitting, but they, their armour goes up. So heavy armour goes up from three to four, and light armour goes up from two to three. So it's worth going into shield wall and force me to attack him. So he's moving, he's doing the right tactics for the Anglo-Saxons. They're very much a defensive army. So the only uh, difference is that over here, he could possibly try and charge with his um, heavy infantry because these have only got a factor of six for hitting if they stay defending. But I can try and counter charge. If I do that, I'll be hitting on threes. He doesn't want to do that yet. He's thinking about it. He was trying to whip me down with bow fire first, which is a good idea. Uh, but at the moment, well, the last time we just saw, we missed, sadly. But I'm sure next time we won't have to move as well. He'll just stand there and shoot. And he'll be hitting on fives and sixes. So it gives him much more chance of causing a casualty. Because they've only got armour of two, my warriors. Uh, they're not upgraded, they're basic warriors. Right, all right, next move is my heavy infantry here. I've managed to charge into Steve's light infantry. They're, they're no longer battered but they've not been able to form shield wall. So I've still got 12 dice and so has Steve because he's still got seven men there. So he's hitting me on fours. I'm hitting him on fives, but my armor's better than him. So I'll do, I'll do me first. Let's move the, uh, the dice tray a little bit nearer so you can see the roll. Right, I need fives. I'll take out the misses. Right, so I've got, I've got six hits there, which is three casualties on you. Okay, I'll put a three next to that. Yeah, so take three away. I'll wait. I'll roll. All right, yeah. Now you're going to roll 12 dice, yeah. hitting me on fours. Have you got 12 dice there? Yeah. yeah. Go for it. You've got one, two, three. You've got four hits there. Yeah. So it is a figure. All right. But you lose three. Now we both got to do a courage test. The difference is you've got a minus eight on your courage yeah. test, so I think they're going to go, unless you roll two sixes or something, yeah, which lucky. is possible. But do you want to do yours first? Yeah, they're well and truly gone, so yeah. they disappear. And I've lost a figure as well. I've lost three figures from that unit so far, so I'm on minus three. I rolled a six, so I'm down to three. I think he is. No, he's within 12 inches, so he does help. And it goes back up to four. Every infantry got a courage of four, so I'm still okay. So they're just going to stay there. Now we're going to move over here. So we're going to go in here. Yeah, these are going to go in there, or attempt to anyway. Yes, they do. So they're going to charge into you here. 
And these are my elite infantry. So we both got 12 dice. I'll do mine first as I'm attacking. So I'm hitting on threes. And your shield wall, three, they're now armor of four, yeah? Yeah, they're four now. Right, so I'll take out my, my misses. Oh, all these ones and twos. So I've got seven hits. So it's only one figure you've lost. Being in that shield wall makes all the difference. Now you fight back. You're hitting on fours. Right, so you've got one, two, three, four hits there, which is a figure. So we, we both lost a figure there. We both have to now do a courage test. So take all your dice out. I'll do mine first, if you like. Yeah. I rolled a six. I've lost two, so I'm down to four. I'm going to get one for my lead of five, so I'm okay. No, you're two. You rolled a ten. You've only lost one figure. You're fine. Yeah. Um, but we both lost a figure, but because I attacked, it's me that has to come back. back. So I do half a move. <laughs> Backwards. Oops, don't want to take your man with me. But I'm not battered. So that's that. That was good, you did well there. You see, this shield wall is really hard to break into, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Which is what the Anglo-Saxons found uh, to Hastings, wasn't it? They, they stayed on that hill, they'd have been all right. It's only yeah, when they come off it, they are a problem. The hill. Right, over on the left here, I thought I was gonna retreat from here, but of course, I forgot that warriors have got wild charge, and I tested, and they had to charge in against that shield wall, despite the fact that I didn't particularly want to. So, this may not turn out very good for me. Right, we'll put that down. So I'll do me first. I'll roll 12 dice. I am hitting on threes, but of course, not forgetting that you are in um, shield wall, so you've got armor of four. So I'll just roll mine first. So I'm looking, I'm just taking out the ones. There's three ones there. So I've got nine, oh no, and the twos, sorry. So I've got six hits, which is just a single figure. You fight back. You're, you've got 12 dice and you're hitting on fours. So fours, five and sixes are what you want. Yeah, looks like you've got five casualties there, or five hits on me, which is two of my figures go, because uh, I've only got armor of two. Now we both have to do a courage test. I'll let you roll yours first as you're there. So roll two dice. Yeah, 11. Well, you're fine with that, aren't you? Minus one, you're down to 10. You don't have a problem. Let's see what I can do. I rolled a five. I've lost two men, so I'm down to three, which means my warriors, which have only got a courage of four, are battered and have to go back. But, uh, yeah, I've still got my sheep, yeah. <laughs> but I've had to come back half a move. Oh dear. I knew that would turn out badly. Against the shield wall, these guys aren't that good. And I'm, I'm battered unit. The only good news is that he's got to come out of his shield wall to attack me. But then I've got to try and recover next move and then I will charge in again because I'm a wild charge. No, I haven't got, I've got javelins. I'm just warriors. So they may recover in a minute, but they'll have to charge straight back in again because they've got wild charge. What I want is I've got to foul my wild charge and I can move normally and get them away. If I go in, I'm going to die horribly. So I've finished. It's your turn, mate. I was lucky here because you can see my battered unit not looking very happy on that hill. Um, Steve tried to shoot with these, failed miserably. And because they're more than 12 inches away from their leader, 
and they weren't able to um, have a re-roll. And then he tried to charge with his these heavy infantry, and they failed as well. So I live to fight another day at the moment. Now it's my turn because Steve's had two failures. This is getting hard for the Vikings because these Anglo-Saxons in Shield War are really hard to, to get out of Shield War. Um, although I've managed to win the melee over here, uh, one of his light units have now gone. Uh, these are now down to just four men. Although they're elite infantry, they, they bounced off this shield wall last time. And he's still got 11 men in that, so um, that's still a strong position. These, these are the only ones I might be able to um, do something with because I'm, I've got two units within charge moving them. And uh, I'm hoping that one of those two will be able to go in there and do them a lot of damage. But because they're not battered, they're still fighting, then they defend, they still fight at a reasonable hit rate. So let me do that first. So I'm going to try and charge my elite infantry into you there. So I failed to move those, I'm going to do a re-roll. Oh, I failed again. Unfortunately, I just rolled really badly and I tried to attack with my elite unit here and failed twice to do so. So I'm just standing there doing absolutely nothing. It's now Steve's turn again. So he's, he's going to be happy with that. Right. And I might pay the price. Right, it's your turn. Steve then. failed to fire his bows at me, so he charged with his heavy infantry instead. They're not as good in attacking. He was sitting on five for sixes. He managed to kill a figure which meant I have to do a test and I did fall back because I failed my, my test, unfortunately. But then before that, I managed to kill three of his figures, but his test was fine, he rolled well. So oddly enough, although I won the melee, I'm the one that's fallen back up the hill. But, and I am battered and he is not. So I'm losing that over there slowly but surely. Come. Well, they're dead. They, they, oh, they route completely. Yeah. yeah, what just happened here was I managed to charge my elite infantry that were here into um, the light infantry that were... Didn't They failed to move last move. They were flanked anyway, so even if they'd gone into shield wall, they would have been flanked by me, because in these rules, we're using the shield wall can get flanked rule. Otherwise, they're just too powerful. And, um, and of course, he didn't manage to form shield wall. He stood there, and I, I hit him in the flank. And he, he lost three figures and then rolled badly on the dice, and that unit's now disappeared. So both the light infantry units have gone for the Anglo-Saxons, but all his heavies are still doing OK. Well, these two are still in shield wall, and he's got one unit over there that isn't in shield wall, but they're slowly beating my warriors. There's some interesting manoeuvring going on here with the Anglo-Saxons, quite rightly so, because at the moment, these guys were back here and they were flanked by my warriors, by my heavy infantry coming this way. So they've swung around, staying in shield wall, they can move on the frontage of 180 degrees, so they can swing around three inches, which is what they've done. So they're no longer flanked by these. And these ones that were back here have done the same. They're moving around to make sure they're not going to be flanked by my other unit over here. So a bit of manoeuvring, but it means they're still in shield wall and they're not um, being flanked. Just to explain what's happened here. Just move that out of the way for a minute. Right, over here, the skirmishers were near, too near to my warriors moving up. So Steve did a skirmish move. He turned around, he's made sure he's more than six inches away from me. And then he opened fire and he killed enough, got enough hits to kill a figure. I did a test and they were fine, but at least he's now out of range. I can't actually reach him because I can only move six inches. He's six and a half inches away. And then the second thing he did was he's charged me. He's decided he wants to try and get rid of my warriors on this hill. So he's charged up the hill. I've managed to counter charge as well, which is handy. So I'm hitting on threes. Steve's only hitting on fives, but I've only got an armor, armor of two, and he's got an armor of three. So I'll let you uh, roll first, Steve, seeing as though you're the attacker. So you want fives. Well, that's four hits. There's two figures. That's still, it's still enough. That's whittling me down. 
Okay, so I've lost two more. Right, me on you. I've got 12 dice hitting on threes. I'll take out the ones and the twos. Wow, that's not bad. That's nine hits. So you lose three figures, which means we both have to do a test. I'll do mine first. I've lost five figures, so I've got to do a minus five off this row. <laughs> well, my, my warriors have gone because they've just rolled three, but I've lost five figures so far, which means they're on minus two. So they've gone. Well, that's a great shame, leaving the sheep behind. But you've got to do a test as well, and you're on minus seven. So we could both end up going here. Well, would you believe it? Ten. You're down to three, but your um, courage is four, which means you have failed. You have to go back half a move, but you are still there and you are battered. Half of this is... Half move. So you've got to go in this direction three. because you have to go away from where the attack came from. Half three. So do a three inch move, yeah. So whether you do much with that unit from now on is a bit debatable because they're always going to be rolling on minus seven. So we we sort of but you've still got the sheep. Yeah. So. <laughs> so do I, how do I get that? Sheep? No, you don't get that because you never went up the hill to get it. No, you, so the I sheep stayed where it was. Another update. My elite unit of four elites have charged into the sheer wall here, in the hope that I can uh, break that sheer wall, and I've got another unit ready to follow up if they do. So I've got 12 dice hitting on threes. I'll take out the misses. There we are. I've got eight hits, which means this shield will lose two figures. Move those out of the way. And Steve, though, gets 12 dice back to me. And because he's defending, he hits on fours. So you've got 12 dice hitting on fours, Steve. Okay. You only want one hit and I'm down to half strength that unit then, so this is what you need. Well, you've got them, haven't you? You've got one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got seven hits, which is a figure, which means I have to test as well as you do. So roll for your test first with two dice. I don't know how we turn back. At the moment, you've only got... You've got two... Oh, no, I've just done that, haven't I? Yeah. You've got eight men there still yeah. left. No, you've got nine men there, yeah. sorry. So you're on minus three for this unit. Nice. So roll two dice with minus three. Six, so it means you're down to three. You get one back for your leader mm. because he's within 12 inches. He's here. Mm. So they're fine. Right. They stay there. And I've got to do a test for my unit. I rolled 11. And I'm fine as well because uh, I've got... I've got a courage of three plus. So although I've lost three men, I'm still on eight. But now the thing is though, you, interestingly enough, this is bad news for you, Steve, really, you've lost more men than me. Mm. So it's you that has to go back. Okay. okay. I'll move you back if you like while yeah. you're doing that. So they go back half a move, which means they're no longer in shield wall which is sort of rather what I was hoping for. You've still got nine men there. You've still got the sheep. But shield wall is now removed because they've had to move back. And I'm going to attempt to charge with these warriors next, which they do. So I'm charging you again. But these are not elite. These are just heavy infantry. As it happens, I've got nine men as well. <laughs> right, so I'll do my roll first. Now I'm only hitting on fives, unfortunately. And I've just rolled some terrible dice there. <laughs> I needed fives and sixes and I've rolled two fives. So it's not even enough to kill a figure of yours. So you're looking good. You now roll 12 dice back on me, Steve. Okay. And you're hitting on fours because you're defending. Right, okay. You want fours to, to kill, fours to hit. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? Oh no, three. So you've got five, so that's a figure. 
I didn't kill any of yours, so I've got to do a test. I rolled 11, which is fine. I'm not battered, but I do have to fall back because I lost a casualty. So that didn't quite work out how I was, how I was hoping to. Steve's at the fall back with those. They're still battered. They failed again. They lose another figure. They've only got four men left now, but they are still there and they've still got the sheep with them. Right. So it's you now with your, depends what you want to do in the skirmish. You're getting interesting. Steve's still falling back with this heavy infantry here and he, move, he loses a figure every time, but he's still got that sheep and he's still running away, but at least he's not routing. His bowmen have now, his skirmishers have now gone into the wood, and he's, he's, but he failed to shoot this time, which is a bit unfortunate for him. And over here, he's charged into my, I've only got three elite infantry left, so he's charged in, we're going to roll now to see what happens there. He's got 12 dice, I've only got six. But he's, he only hits on fives because he's, no, no, he's, he's, he's a veteran, aren't you? Veteran infantry, so they hit on fours. So 12 dice hitting on fours. That comes away. Yeah. That comes away. That comes away. Yeah, and the other three are misses. So you've got five hits, which is a figure. I'll take your figure away. And I've only got six dice in reply because I'm down to half strength. Elite infantry, unfortunately, in when they're defending, only hit on fours, not threes. But I do get five hits, which is a figure off you as well. So we both have to do a test. My test was seven, minus four, I'm down to three, and it means I'm okay, believe it or not. Your test? Oh. You rolled a four, and how many men have you lost in that unit? You've lost four, haven't you? Yeah. Which means you're on naught. However, lucky for you, your leader, which is here, is within 12 yeah. inches, so they get one back. Yeah. So it has to fall back, and it's battered. But if he hadn't have been there, they would have gone. They would have routed. So he, they've managed to survive so go back by mere fact that he's um, about three inches, yeah. He saved them. The fact that he was within 12 inches. Because once you get zero or below, you rout. That's interesting because now they're battered. Hopefully next time I can hit them. Right, your last move with, with this unit here. What do you want to do with that? I just stand. Just going to stand there. Okay. Right, it's my turn then. We're doing this melee here where I charged a battered unit. I managed to kill one figure, that's all, because I'm still only hitting on fives and sixes, but Steve's only hitting back on sixes. You've got two hits there. It's not enough because I've got armour of three. So you have to test again for that unit because you lost the melee and you took a casualty. I don't have to test because I didn't lose a casualty. Eight. Eight. You've got... You've, you've lost five men there, mm. but you do have to go back because you lost more men than me. Right, over on the left, my uh, heavy infantry here managed to capture the sheep, and my elite infantry have managed to charge into the wood to the skirmishers, and the skirmishers have failed to evade, which is really bad news for Steve, I'm afraid, there, because it means I'm going to cause a lot of damage because I hit on threes. Let me just do mine first. I'll just take out the misses, the ones and twos. Well, I've got eight hits, and as you've only got an armour of one, they're wiped out completely. Okay, okay, so another melee. I've managed to charge this battered unit here with my unit of eight uh, heavy infantry. Right, so I'm going to roll 12 dice. And I'm hitting on fives. One, two, three. I've only got four no, hits, it's ten, only another figure. Eleven, so move one of those up, out, another figure dies. Yeah. Six dice. Oh, six dice. Yeah, and you're hitting though on four. No, you're only hitting on sixes because you're a battered unit. So you need a lot of dice, a lot of good sixes here, otherwise it's um, not going to do any good. I've got oh, armour of three, you need at least three. No. No, so they did. So you've now got a test for that unit. 
You do. You're rolling well for the for the courage test. It's eleven, although it's minus seven. They're still on four, and they get one back for him. So no, they, they do have to go back because you've lost a figure, mm. and they uh, they still stay battered because you're not trying to rally them. But at least you haven't still gone away completely. So you've got one unit here. You because they're heavy infantry, you might be better off I'm just charging me and see yeah, what I'm happens. Yep. Yeah. So off they go. You're hitting me. You've got 12 dice, I've got 12. You need to get that sheep. <laughs> well, at the moment, I'm winning 3 2 on sheep. Yeah, but if I can get this sheep, the Andy. Did I roll then? So, yeah, you did that. So, you got 12 dice hitting me on fours. Alex? Looks like you've got five there. Uh, so I've got fight back. So you've got one on me. I'm hitting you on fours as well because I'm defending. I've got five on you. It's only one casualty. So we both have to do a test. My test is an eight. And I've got seven, I've lost five, so I'm down to three. And one from a lead of four, so I'm okay. You're on seven, you're gonna be fine as well. We both lost one each, but you were the attacker, so it's you that has to go back, because we had a draw there. Let's go back this way, won't I? You will. Right, the game is finally over. It was a cracking game. It was only towards the end I started to, to win it. Uh, really, the only survivors, we called it a day, we've got four men there that are still surviving. Sorry, five men there, but that's the, the entire Anglo-Saxon army. The other unit that was in the marsh just um, was just routed. And um, I've managed to capture five of the six sheep if it had been a draw casualty wise that would have made a difference but i won anyway because the the anglo-saxons have only got the one unit left which is a five men so the game was over it's been a good game it was interesting that the anglo-saxons certainly do defend well if they form shield wall and the, the flank thing we've started because the shield wall can be flanked and we also agreed that if you hit in, in the rear that you lose minus one on your army. It only happened in, in, in one part of the game where that happened, but uh, it's an interesting thing to add, just to make it a little bit more think about where you're facing. Um, so yeah, a very good game. I, I took quite a few casualties myself, as you can see. I had one unit over there, which has still got 10 figures. And my elite unit here has still got four. These have gone down to two. They've still got seven, but I lost uh, a unit of warriors completely and some other figures, I say bits and pieces, but it was a victory to the Vikings. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, that was a good game. <laughs> it was, mate. Good fun, as always. Yes.